How are you doing guys? You're very welcome to another edition of Ton Fly Fishing. Today I'm doing a fly tying video. Um, I decided to sit down and tie some dry flies from my own box and to show why not we'll put something up on the internet. Let the folks see what we have. So today I'm tying an emerger pattern. It's a Spanish style kind of dry fly. It's very, very effective. I have been using it this last couple of seasons to great effect. I've catched, I've been catching fish everywhere I went with it. So it's an amazing pattern. Okay, so we'll get started on the materials and the hook. The hook I'm using is a Doheku 301, uh, size 16. In this case today, I do tie them on other sizes. I tie them from an 18 right to 12. So there's a, a good variation in um, size of hooks to match the different, I suppose, size of olives and all that out there on the river that's going to be hatching. So, um, the thread I am using, it is UTC light olive. Um, I'm going to be using a bit of Cop de Leon for the tail as well. So, if we get started, we'll thread on, get started. Now, the key with these flies is I think it's, it's not to be put too much on, too much material. Um, I think, and I done it myself starting out. I was putting lots and lots of material on when you don't need as much as you think you do. There we go, touching turns the whole way down and back up again. What you want? Just keep everything tidy. Once you keep everything tidy when you're you're tying. Fly turns out better and, and you can even put the other materials on even better. So next on is the CDC. I'm going to be using four small pieces of CDC. So just get the, all the tips together. Push it with your fingers if you can, just tidy it up a wee bit. There we go, so that looks all right. Put it up and pinch and loop. So we got our CBC on. The next bit is to just tidy away the scrubby bits. Um, the best way to do this is just cut a taper into the bit you're going to cut off there. If you were to cut that straight, it'd be an awful drop, and, and then you'd have you'd be left trying to build up your body with the tread. But when you cut the taper into the material does have to work for you. So I'm just going to go down the body. You can see there, nice and tidy. So work my way back up again. And that's as tidy as you're going to get it. So perfect, just the way I want it. I'm just going to come forward another turn and then pull the CDC back this way here. And what you're going to do here is just Put a base of thread on the hook just below the CVC, and that'll help prop it up a wee bit. Okay, so next on the material list is Global Right number five. This is going to be going through the wing, so start creating a mess. Brilliant. So Put it in there like that there. I'm going to use that to just help split the wing. So what I'm going to do is just now with a small trim. There you go. It props itself back up between the wing and it and it helps it split. All I gotta do now is my whip finish. So a couple of turns on the whip finish. One, two, three, four is plenty. Oh, careful there. Moving in the jaws of the vice. So, there we go. There you have it. Lovely um, merger pattern. As I say, I have that in various sizes, and that is a very effective fly. Works everywhere I go. When I use it, so I'm telling you, it's one to have in your box. Um, thanks for watching, 
and hopefully i'll have more videos like this of other patterns that i have in my box and don't forget to subscribe share the video give it a like and i'll see you again soon have a good day